So I published a video a few weeks ago about soundproofing an apartment wall and let's face it, soundproofing anything in an apartment is a challenge because you don't own it. You can't really make any changes. Why would you want to spend money on something that you don't own, something that you can't really bring back with you? I did receive a lot of good comments and somebody actually sent me an email and gave me a really good idea. And it's something that I actually use in my house because the noise that was entering my kids' bedrooms while they were sleeping, I couldn't really mitigate it much more than I already had. And I'll be telling you about that very thing in this video and also after I'll be giving you a few more tips on just what you can do to mitigate a lot of the noise that comes through in an apartment. And also you'll want to watch this video that I published a few weeks ago if you haven't already. That is a really good option that you can use that will cost you about five dollars and also what a lot of people don't really know and i should really say it in a lot more videos is that if you just drop the noise level by three decibels just three decibels that is basically cutting the noise in half of what you can hear so just think about that now what the person suggested and what as I said, what I've used for my own kids is a white noise machine. But let's face it, white noise machines are outdated with what we have today because you can basically have a white noise machine from your cell phone. So if you're not really familiar on what a white noise machine is, it just creates white noise, constant noise, a humming noise. Let's say a let's say you already have a fan in your bedroom and you turn the fan on to kind of drown out all of the noise that comes through, then that is essentially a white noise machine. It's just a fan. White noise machines these days, they go from 20 to $50. And in my opinion, they're, as I said, outdated. But what I use today in my bedroom and in all of my kids' bedrooms are the Echo Dots. And in the garage, I actually got this one from Google. And it's basically the same thing. If you get this one from Google, if you have a subscription with YouTube Music, you can use that. And this is from Amazon. Now these, you can have free music and also you can have a subscription. But what you can have for free is if you ask Alexa to just play white noise and it basically replaces a white noise machine and basically you get all of the features of asking questions and also listening to music and they work really well by drowning the outside noise so if you live in an apartment where your neighbors are making constant noise then one of these could be exactly what you need now going a step further if there is a lot of noise coming through and you've watched the video already about the little soundproof hack on the wall Basically, the only thing that I can suggest is to look at the door. That's where a lot of the noise comes through, especially noise that's coming through from the hallway. A lot of these apartments, if you look, there's a gap about almost an inch between your unit and the hallway. And by just closing that gap, you can eliminate up to 50% of the noise coming through your apartment from the hallway. So that is a huge win if that's what you want to do. And all you need to close that gap is a bottom door sweep. As you can see on your screen, I'm installing one in my house and they're really easy to install. They're not that expensive. I'll have a link in the description below of the one that I recommend. And there are a lot of door sweeps on Amazon, let's face it, but they're not all created equal. The ones that are $5, $4, they're quite different than the ones that are $15. I actually have a new type of door sweep. It's an automatic door sweep that I am testing right now that I'll be publishing a video about that in a few weeks or a month from now. So you'll be able to watch that and see how it actually works. So make sure you have your notification bell clicked on if you're already a subscriber to not miss that video. What's nice with a door sweep is that they're easy to install and they don't cost a lot of money and you can bring them with you if you move out. All you need to do if you bought the ones that you actually have to drill holes in them, not the one that is self-adhesive, all you do when you remove it is cover the holes with putty and you're good to go. Nobody's gonna know that you had it and you can bring it to you in your next apartment or if you move into a house. Another thing that you can do to seal the crack around the door is to add a weather strip. Now this is also very inexpensive and it's something that you can remove before you leave. It's not something that you can really reapply at your next dwelling because it's a self-adhesive tape that won't really stick anymore. But for the time being, for the time that you live in an apartment, they work really well at sealing the gap around the rest of the door. And to really know if you have a gap in the door that you're trying to soundproof, 
All you need to do is close the door and turn the light on inside that room and the light off in the room that you're standing in. How, many, how much light can you see coming through? That's basically how you can tell if there is a good seal around the door, but chances are there isn't a good seal. And by adding a weather strip and a bottom door sweep and making use of these devices could make living in your apartment a lot calmer. I'll put a link to the playlist of apartment soundproofing so you can check out all those different videos on basically making living in an apartment a little bit more bearable if you have neighbors that you just cannot stand to listen to. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a comment. If you leave a comment within the first 24 hours of me publishing this video, I guarantee I will reply. And if it's been after that one 24 hour period, then still comment. I'll try my best to reply. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time.